Hey, what's up, y'all? She be texting about another video. Today, my reaction even from Impressive. Y'all know I love some Impressive child. Impressive be having great content and stuff. The title of this video is called Cardi B Drags Urban Blobs of Insecurity, Cardi vs. The Shade Room, and Nicki Minaj Wireless Fest. Child, let's get into what's going on. Before we get into the reaction, make sure you guys... Give me a... Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to my solo channel. And make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to Impressive Channel. And let's get into this reaction. Period. Nicki Minaj had the wildest time at the Wireless Festival, and she also addressed those pregnancy rumors. Mm. Also, Cardi B got into it with the shade room yet again. I'm going to break down all of the mess in this video. Stay tuned. Period. Yes, impressive. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. Hi, girl. The Wireless Festival happened over the weekend, and there were three major headliners. Cardi B headlined on Friday, SZA mm -hmm. headlined on Saturday, and Nikki headlined oh, on Sunday, Sunday, and it was an event. The UK crowd is something special because they showed love to everybody. The energy was hype for Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. The crowd was going absolutely insane over Tyler, the creator. Of course. Everyone was hyped for SZA, and SZA even broke out into choreography. And I was okay. like, hey, SZA. I know SZA can dance, but I thought mm -hmm. it was cool to see her incorporated in her show because normally she doesn't do she don't really be dancing and stuff. She might right. dance here and there, but I thought it was cool to see her actually do a whole routine. Also, the energy was hype for Summer Walker. In mm -hmm. fact, Summer was so overwhelmed with the love she received that she broke down in tears. And of course, last but certainly not least, Nicki Minaj got the biggest and most down. chaotic reception in the uk i mean her barbs came out in full force mm -hmm. they were singing every single song at the top of their lungs it was literally a barb fest literally and i think Nicki minaj actually sold out her concert in fact of she i remember the wireless festival tweeting that her set sold out within 24 hours mm -hmm. which is crazy but this is how much love she receives overseas. And this is what a superstar looks like, y'all. Exactly. Not only that, she did a very chaotic meet and greet. In fact, she couldn't even meet all of her fans because mm -hmm. so many of them flooded the streets. Oh, but many she did get out the car and she met some of them. She was trying to first protect them from the police because the police was doing a bit too much. But then the fans got out of control and they bombarded her. And it got so bad that she pushed one of her fans and her fan gushed about it on TikTok and said, Lord. I'm just happy Nikki touched me. All love. Thank you, Nikki, for stopping by. That whole meet and greet was get to. Mm -hmm. But I think Nikki had a good time with her She fans. should have planned that for she came to people. And she did thank them to, uh, for coming UK out. Uh, Nikki she, took uh, over the wireless festival completely. She was the talk on all of the blogs. Of and she was also the talk on all of the blogs last week i believe when mm -hmm. she performed at the essence, essence festival. festival now <laughs> she was the talk on the blogs for different reasons last week because a lot of people saw some footage from her concert and they noticed that she got a little thicker and so there was speculation yes, going around that she might be pregnant and she did address these pregnancy rumors and this is what she said am i pregnant Oh, oh, have I sold out? Oh, I didn't mean to tweet this. I'm not fat, y'all. I'm pregnant. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, wait. Did I say it wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I said it wrong. Um, I meant to say I'm not pregnant. I'm fat. <laughs> It's childish. Oh my god. I didn't mean to tweet that. Like, I 
minted sweet. Yeah, hey guys, I'm not. Well, I just did the joke. Y'all get it. Um. But thanks, guys, for all the congratulatory. <laughs> Yeah, now, a lot of family. people were not completely convinced that Nikki is not pregnant. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I don't want to assume that anybody is pregnant because, you know, sometimes people's weight fluctuates. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's right to assume, but we'll just have to wait and see. Also, I want to talk about this drama that Nikki has with Kanye West. Now, mm. at the Essence Festival, Nikki stopped the DJ from playing the song Monster, which is the collaboration that she had with mm -hmm. Kanye. And she said, we don't F with clowns. Now, a lot of people assume that Nikki dissed Kanye because he did a song with her nemesis, Cardi B. Now, I do think Nikki was annoyed that Kanye did a collaboration with Cardi B. And not put out there. I don't think this mm -hmm. is where her gripe comes from. I think she's more irritated that Kanye cleared his verse on Cardi's song, which was a super mid verse, by the way, but he would not release New Body. Now, if you don't know, New Body was a song that Kanye did with Nicki and Ty Dolla Sign, and it came from his Yandy album, but mm -hmm. the gang leader, formerly known as Big continues to maintain his innocence despite His Yandy album was leaked. So he ended up scrapping the project altogether. And also Kanye okay. went through he this whole release phase where he wasn't really trying to make certain music anymore. He was like in his gospel phase. Mm. But now he's out of his gospel phase. And instead of releasing New Body, he's doing mid songs with Cardi B. And I can imagine that Nicki was annoyed he by this. Still put out new body. the fact that he worked with Cardi, but annoyed that he... Kanye should have said they're going to put out new body. I don't care what nobody said. I don't care how old the song is. I don't care if the song two, three, four, five years old. He should have still put it out, child. Oh, I want to fight Kanye so bad. I want that song. I want the music video. I want everything. That's a hit gone, child. A hit gone. Hey. But, I mean, if he thought he could make some money with Cardi B, that's your business. If you feel like that's a great move for you, that's your business. Can't nobody stop doing what you want to do, child. You want to go work with Cardi B or go work with Drake or go work with uh, anybody, Iggy, anybody. Just name a few people. Ariana Grande, Beyonce, Jay-Z. If you want to go work with anybody else, that's your business, child. But don't sit here for the fact that you and Nikki had a song together and you and he put her verse in and on. So you still scrap Nikki verse. And I think I think you still put out nobody, but you didn't have Nikki verse on some like that. I don't remember. It was a couple years ago. I don't remember. But what I'm saying is you still should put the song out because you knew that when Nikki verse went out, that she would have killed you on the record. Don't do too much. So that's all I really got to say, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to my solo channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.